today's video is going to be about some amazing drugstore products that I really rate and I would recommend to you all. And um, throughout the years of doing YouTubing, blogging, and um, generally being a beauty blogger, um, I've come across some good products, some bad products, and today I'm going to share with you the good ones. In my makeup kit, I actually have a lot of drugstore products, and um, some I love. Again, like some I love, some I don't really like and I've actually today gone through my makeup collection and I've picked out all the best products that I would actually recommend to you guys and things that I really rate and I think that are worth the price have amazing quality and are comparable to their designer and um, friends so yeah let's get straight into it so the first item is the Carmex Lip Balm, which I absolutely love. I couldn't imagine living life without this lip balm. I've tried a ton of lip balms, and um, some I like, some I don't, but I always end up coming back to this one, and um, especially when I have like majorly dry, chapped lips, this does wonders for my lips, and it just, uh, it just gets rid of everything, and um, makes it smooth, baby soft, and yeah, Carmex um, Lip Balm. So the next product is a lipstick and this is probably my 6th or 7th um, tube and it's the Rimmel New Delight and it's not only this colour, of course this colour is probably my favourite but I think that any um, of the Rimmel lipsticks in this line which is the Moisture Renew lipsticks I think they're all amazing, I have the coral one, I have a pink one and they all work fantastically but of course I'm always drawn to this colour because it's the perfect nude and I think it's so hard to find the perfect nude it's always a bit too pinky, a bit too beige, a bit too concealer lips um, and yeah it's so hard finding a perfect nude and I think I found my perfect nude when I bought this and like I said I've been through so many of them and yeah it's just amazing it's like the perfect peachy nude colour so um, yeah it's really complimenting on my skin tone and the packaging is really cute as well it's like this purple glossy packaging with like a, the signature Rimmel crown on the top and yeah so this is number 700 in Nude Delight um, by Rimmel and um, big big massive thumbs up from me so whilst I'm talking about Rimmel, I'll stick on Rimmel products. Um, the eyebrow pencil is what I have on my eyebrows right now. I've been using this um, since I was like, what, 18, 17? And I've always stuck to it because it's a perfect shade, especially for my hair colour as well. It's um, the Rimmel eyebrow pencil in hazel. It's a light brown colour, like a medium light brown colour, but it hasn't got any orange or brassy tones in it. It's but then again it's not too ashy which I find is a problem with other eyebrow pencils you normally go for like a light brown or and it's either too ashy or it's too orange and this one is just perfect and again really affordable it was about £2.99 it comes with a little comb on the end which is really good for just brushing through your brows once you finish drawing them on and yeah, I've been using this for years and I wouldn't change this for anything else. Even though I have tried other things, um, nothing comes close to this one. And again, a Rimmel eyeliner in white. I've been through a few eyeliners in white and I think this is my favourite one because it's pigmented, it lasts a long time and again it's inaffordable. It's um, affordable because again it's about £2.99 or £4 at the maximum and again amazing product, works well, um, affordable. I'm going to be talking about mascaras and there's two mascaras that I absolutely have been loving and again this is a Rimmel one, this is the Lash Lash? No, this is the Glam Eyes Mascara and I, I absolutely love the packaging. It comes in this kind of dark grey like a charcoal colour and it's got pink accent um, writing and labelling I just think it's really pretty and the thing that's in common with these two mascaras is it's a plastic brush I actually prefer plastic brushes or ones in comparison to the natural bristle typical kind of um, mascara wand just because I think it's easier to work with and it doesn't clump as much as the brush versions and also it defines the eyelashes a lot more and yeah so I've got this one on right now and it's the Rimmel Glam Eyes Mascara 
and like I said when it comes to mascaras I always choose um, drugstore ones over designer ones because designer mascaras can be expensive and when you're throwing them away every two to three months or three to four months depending on how, how much you use it then I think it can be a bit of a waste of money and I think that the drugstore mascaras actually perform better than the designer ones so it just makes sense to buy drugstore ones in the long run because not only are you saving money but you're getting better results as well and the second mascara is the L'Oreal False Slash Telescopic Mascara which I've been absolutely loving recently and this has actually run out and that's why I've been using the Rimmel one um, again plastic wand um, a little bit care face so you can get into all the corners all the curves and again I just love it it's amazing for the bottom lashes as well um, so yeah that's Rimmel Glam Eyes Mascara and L'Oreal Fall Slash Telescopic Mascara so another product by L'Oreal is the L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim which I only discovered um, probably about five to six months ago now and I've absolutely been loving I've been using it on my eyes to draw perfect lines and I have this on right now and this is what I used to draw my eyeliner it lasts a long long time and the um, fine nib is perfect for if you want preci um, precision yeah and again this is about £6.50 which I think is really reasonable um, compared to designer eyeliners and again this eyeliners always I always always go for drugstore ones because um, eyeliners are one of those things a bit like mascara they dry out really quickly and you probably go through them a lot more than other products like foundations, eyeshadows, blushes so I prefer to buy the more affordable ones and just keep changing it and this is amazing, like it does a perfect job and this is my absolute favourite um, eyeliner at the moment. So moving back onto lip products, I discovered these um, earlier on last month when I sent them and I've absolutely been loving them. I actually have this one on my lips right now and it's the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable um, Balm Stains and they look like this. And these three are my favourite colours. I have um, Just Bitten Kissable on right now. And it just looks like this. Like a really milky pink colour. And then I have the Revlon Balm Stain. Um, a red one, which is the perfect, like a easy to wear red. It's not too in your face. It's just really easy to wear. So you can even wear it during the daytime as well. And then I have the bright orange one which is a really good colour to really brighten up the complexion and just give you a bit of a facelift if that makes sense. Like sometimes you might look a bit tired, you might look a bit, your skin might look a bit dull. Um, pop one of these on and you're ready to go because it just brightens up the complexion and overall appearance really well without the obvious wearing lipstick um, type of lip. So yeah, big thumbs up for these, um, moisturising, affordable, pretty packaging and they come in some amazing colours. Next moving on to an eyeshadow, I always find that drugstore eyeshadows are not as good as designer or high end eyeshadows apart from this one um, and this is the Sleek palette, I am really impressed with Sleek eyeshadows and this is my favourite one, it's the Storm palette which consists of um, a lot of mixture of neutral tones and um, some are matte, some are shimmer so it's perfect if you want to have the overall palette that can take you from day to night and these colours are just amazing and again affordable drugstore price this is about £6.99 now um, which is I think fantastic considering you get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 12 colours in this palette and I've been using this palette for years now nearly two years and it's never failed me and I think that it's really similar to the Urban Decay Naked palette so if you can't afford the Urban Decay Naked palette then definitely look into this palette because um, it's really similar and some of the colours are just basically dupes so yeah sleek palettes eyeshadows always get my throat um, affordable 
amazing pigmentation and um, amazing lasting power and I think that if you're not in the UK then it might be a little bit tricky to get hold of sleek palettes um, I'm not sure if they sell them outside of the UK you'd probably have to check online or ask them on their Twitter on sleek but I'm not entirely sure but if you do then I suggest you get in your hands on one because yeah like I said it's amazing Finally I have some cream eyeshadows to recommend and these are by Maybelline and these are the colour tattoo 24 hour cream gel eyeliners eyeshadows and I think that these are called something different in different countries I know that the um, USA ones uh, have a different name and some of the colours have different names as well even though it's the same colour and I have two of my favourite ones Eternal Gold and on and on bronze and I know that the bronze one is definitely called something else in USA because I was looking at the swatches before I bought these ones and it was it just had different names for some reason and this is a bronze gel eyeliner <laughs> this is a bronze gel cream eyeshadow which works amazingly well and I would say that these are comparable to the MAC cream eyeshadows obviously a lot more cheaper and I actually really like the packaging of these I like the um, glass bottom base and then the black top it looks really sleek and it's it looks really good for drugstore product and again this is eternal gold which is a shimmery gold colour and it's gorgeous um, these two are my favourite colours and I've been wearing these non-stop underneath eyeshadows when I have eyeshadow on obviously I don't have any eyeshadow on today so I can't reference it but when I do wear eyeshadows especially bronze ones I always put this one as my eyeshadow primer and they just work really well they dry really quick pigmented and they don't crease and yeah I can't really fault them like I, I didn't actually realise how good they were until like I used it for like the second or third time and um, if these come out in some more colours then I would probably purchase more um, at the moment I don't think that there's a wide selection of colours so probably about six or seven colours and I obviously bought the neutral ones so I could get more wear out of them mm -hmm.